Hi boys and girls, welcome back to Storytime with me, Miss Felicia. I'm so excited to have you here for this week's Storytime adventure. We're going to be reading a book with some characters that you may already know. The Sesame Street Gang. Have you guys ever seen Sesame Street? You have? Well, Sesame Street is an awesome show on TV. And it teaches us about our feelings, about friends, about family, about our community, and how we're all different, but we're all the same in our own unique ways. So we're going to read a story called, We're Different, We're the Same, and We're All Wonderful. Who's ready? for this week's story time. I know I am. Let's see. I'm sure we're gonna spot Big Bird and maybe even Elmo. If you see Big Bird, you make sure you go, there's Big Bird. Or if you see your favorite character, shout it out. We're different. Our noses are different. Where's your nose? This is my nose. Where's your nose? Your nose is right there. And look, we all have different noses. Big Bird has a pointy beak nose. And look, he has an orange nose. His nose is a little bit curved. And Snuffleupagus has a long trunk. Everybody has different noses. We're the same. Our noses are the same. They breathe and sniff and sneeze and whiff. Can you sniff? How about sneeze? <gasps> but make sure you cover your nose when you sneeze. And we cover our nose with our elbow, right? If we sneeze. And look, they're using their noses for all different things. Some people are sniffing and breathing. This boy is running, and when we run, we use our nose to control the air that comes in and out, control how fast it goes in and out of our body. Our hair is different. See, Miss Felicia has black hair. What color is your hair? Some of you have blonde hair, or maybe you have blue hair. Do you have long hair like this girl? Or do you have hair that sticks up like Bert? Or what about blue hair like this blue monster? Or some of us have braided hair or really cool haircuts. We have all different kinds of hair. Our hair is the same. It grows on us in several places. It's it warms our heads and frames our faces. Do some of you have daddies with hair on their faces? Yup, they either have beards or mustaches, right? And those are different kinds of hair. But they're all on our body to protect our skin, to keep us warm. Let's see what else. What else on us is different? Our mouths are different. Our mouths are different. Some of us have bigger mouths. Some of us have smaller mouths. Some of us have mouths with braces. Look, Bert has just straight lips. And Ernie has a wide smile mouth. And this monster over here, he has sharp teeth. Our mouths are the same. Their lips form the words we say and smile when it's a happy day. Can you guys show me your big smile? <gasps> That's a beautiful smile. Oh, look at that smile over there. I really like your smile. It's always better when we smile. 
Look at our friends in Sesame Street. They're smiling. Our skin is different. Look. See, Miss Felicia's skin is the shade of brown. And what shade of skin do you have? Ooh, you have peach skin or tan skin. Oh, look. Some of them have blue skin and purple skin. But how is our skin the same? Even though it's different, how is it the same? Let's find out. Our skin is the same. It tells us something's cold or hot or wet or dry. It knows a lot. Muscles and bones are wrapped inside it. We all have blood and skin to hide it. It keeps the warmth. It keeps out dirt. It warms us so we don't get hurt. Wow, so those are all the really amazing things our skin does. And look, in the water, your skin gets wet and it protects your body on the inside from the water. And in the sun, it gets warm and it holds the warmth to keep your body warm. Our eyes are different. How are your eyes different? Do you have brown eyes? Or what about blue eyes? Or green eyes? Or hazel colored eyes? There are so many different colors of eyes and so many different shapes. Do you see anybody in this picture who has big circle eyes? I see Cookie Monster. He has big circle eyes. What about blue eyes? Look, this friend over here has blue eyes. There are so many different types of eyes, but how are our eyes the same? Our eyes are the same. They see, they blink, they weep, they wink. Can you guys wink with me? You did it, good job. Yes, our eyes see things, like all of their eyes are seeing the same movie right now. So they all work in the same function. Our bodies are different. How are our bodies different? Are some of our bodies tall? And some of our bodies are short. And some of our bodies are a little thicker. And some of our bodies are a little thinner. Right? But all of our bodies are different in their own unique ways. Look, Big Bird's body is really tall. And Snuffleupagus's body is really long. See? He takes up three pictures for his body. But how are our bodies the same? Let's find out. Our bodies are the same. They stretch and bend and work and play. They all need food and rest each day. They dance and wiggle and ride a bike. They might look different, but they're all alike. Look at all those fun things they're doing with their bodies. Some of our bodies are used to play basketball. Some are jogging. Some are walking baby strollers. Our feelings are different. That's very true. Many of us have different feelings, right? What feeling do you have right now? Are you happy or are you sad? Are you angry? Are you frightened? Are you excited? I know I'm excited. That's the feeling I have right now because I'm here with you.
our feelings are the same. Lonely, worried, scared, excited, happy, loving, glad, delighted. No matter what, we all have the same feelings. We just may experience them at different times. Okay. I'm sure in the haunted house, some people feel scared. And I'm sure up here at the roller coaster, some people feel really excited or maybe a little worried. And I'm sure right here, she feels a little bit lonely. Do you see anybody that feels happy in this picture? Good job. I'm sure there's a lot of happy people in that picture. We're the same, we're different. That's what makes the world such fun. Many kinds of people, not just one. A rainbow would be boring if it were only green or blue. What makes a rainbow beautiful is that it has every hue. So aren't you glad you look like you? Aren't you glad you look like you? I'm glad I look like me. And I'm glad that you look like you. We're different. We're the same. We're wonderful. Look at all those different people that are all the same because they're all people and they're all wonderful. They all work together to be amazing. That was a great story. What was your favorite part about we're different, we're the same? I really like the part about our eyes because all of us have different colors of eyes different shapes of eyes, but guess what? We all see and we take in and we blink, see, can you blink? And we wink and sometimes we cry with our eyes. What was your favorite part of our story? Oh, you like the part about feelings? Yes, feelings are very important. And it's important to know that even though you may be feeling something right now, it's not gonna last all the time. Sometimes we're gonna be happy, sometimes we're gonna be sad. And sometimes our friends next to us might be happy when we're sad or sad when we're happy. But we all have feelings that are different, but they're still the same because we all experience them. Well, Miss Felicia is so happy that you could join me this week for story time. And I hope that you enjoyed this story. Well, until next week, I am going to say goodbye. And parents, please subscribe and like our, our story time episode. And if you are interested in joining our story time class, we would love to have you. Just visit our website, the link is below, and you can join our story time class where your children can interact, laugh, and learn with me, Miss Felicia, and other Storytime friends. Until next week, boys and girls. Bye.